I have been so signed by Captain Dirk. Never knew you were an open uh, <laughs> wax man or boner. Never had such claims, sir. So we will see I, how I, I will go last. You will go last? Yeah. You will take them last? Yeah. All right, go last. And that, yeah. fix, that fixes it for Mr. Hanuman. Eh? Well, he goes in the center. <laughs> Mr. Hanuman, you know that the middle can be very crucial when you're batting in the middle. A rose between two thoughts. Well, I would, I would characterize it as that. Yes, Mr. 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 Chang Mike up there, kind of easy. Right? <laughs> Yes, Mr. Sir, please proceed. Mr. Miller, good morning. Good morning, sir. Can you tell this commission how many statements you made to the CLB on March 30th, March 29th, 2017? If I can recall, it was two statements. Two statements? Yes. You're sure of that? And those statements were accurate in every respect. Yes. Is that correct? Those statements were made roughly 600 days more than the events of which you were complaining. Is that correct? I was not counting, so I would not say yes, because you give a, a figure. 21 months? I said that I was not counting the month, so I would not accept well. Is it from June 2015 to March 2017? Yes, sir. That is 21 months, sir. Okay, and that's over 600 days. Okay, sir? You said that your statements were accurate in every respect. Yes. So you would say that you have an excellent memory? I wouldn't exaggerate. You wouldn't exactly? I would not exaggerate upon myself having a, a good memory. So do you have a flawed memory? Explain, please. Do you have, does your memory, do you have any problems with your memory? You said your statements were accurate in every respect. Mm -hmm. A logical extension of that is that, well, let me ask you this. Did you make any contemporaneous notes? Let me explain that. Any notes at the time of this so-called allegation about a plot to assassinate President Radio. Explain context. Con explain the word. I, I just said, did you make at the time when the, when the, when the, when you are claiming that a plot was in, was put to you? We are saying, you, sir, excuse me, we are saying is that you write down anything at the time when they meant interview you? I don't you? Say, yeah. Go no, I didn't. I, I had no, no um, facilities to do that. But no facilities. And between June 2015 and March 29, 2017, you had no facilities to do that. Come again. Be between June, should I slow down? You should. Okay. Between June 2015, you know what is June 2015? Is a year, is a month in the year of 2015? Yes. Can you okay. recall any significant about that month? The 15, um, 2015 June month. June month, you think? Yes. If I could remember anything significant, would you want to know? You ask me, and I can answer. My friend, please answer my question. Sir, what you what Commission you explain as significant? What do you mean by significant? In what terms? Can you please. I don't wish to get the term on you. No, they are. He's asking you if you remember anything serious or anything because what significant happened in June 2015. If you could remember anything, well, June 2015, I was given an offer by Iwan Nizamkan to assassinate the president of the Cooperative Republic of Vienna. And since then, between June 2015 and March, 29, 2017, you never made any effort to document that offer. Well, being said, well, what, I, what I have to say is that during the period of time... Just answer the question, please, sir. Pardon? Just answer the question, yes or no. Say back the question. He asked you if you write down anything between you... If I write, if I, I take if any notes down, in terms of... No, I didn't. come back to you. So you had nothing, no notes to guide you when you went to the 
first to the Ministry of Public Security, then to the Office of the President, then to the CID on March 29th. You're relying entirely on a memory. Scenario situations, memory, the policy. And you say that the statements you gave, according to you, you gave two statements, and they were accurate in every respect. Well, um, the, f the second statement that I have given was what happened at the time at CID when I was threatened by Mr. Imran Khan, when the disorderly behavior and resisting of our son threatening language occurred. I gave a statement immediately. So the first statement was about situations that happened to me after I was given this. Okay, thank you. But in terms, can you recall the number of pages of that statement you, you gave, the first statement? No, it wasn't counting. Would you deny that it's 17 pages? I said I was not counting. No, I'm asking you, sir. Please. Yes, sir. You wouldn't deny that there were 17 pages I said I was not counting, so I cannot accept, neither deny. Do you recall at any stage borrowing money from Mr. Nezantan? Yes. How much money did you borrow, sir? Different occasion, different money. OK, tell us. All the situations and all yes, the things? Yes, yes. If I can recall, I doubt that I can recall all the times, but well, it's been you have great memory. I must congratulate you. If that is your suggestion. Yeah, tell us. As I said, I can't remember all the times yeah, and that money transaction. Well, sometimes I borrow money from him to, to keep promotions. The dates are on the Facebook page that I have, because when I keep up a, a party, I would upload the pages on the um, flyers on Facebook. So uh, uh, mostly upon that, I would borrow money for promotions, or if I have to go into the interior, if I know a location is selling gold at a good price, I would get money from him to go into the interior to purchase gold, bring back to him or sell, and give him his capital, and I would take a profit. You're aware that that was a criminal act to, if, to go and buy, were you a licensed gold dealer? I am a owner I, of a Dredge SD 9379, sir. You're, you're, sorry? I am a Dredge owner SD 979. Can you recall borrowing $800,000 from Mr. Nizantan? I can't remember the exact figure, as I said. It's something it like uh, around that figure? Yeah, probably. Yes. Do you recall how much of that you repaid? All of it. The evidence before this commission? I never borrowed money Let from Khan without Please, repaying, sir. Commissioner, I would ask that this witness answer only the questions. Yes, but I'm not he's explaining. No, no, I don't need explanation, sir. This is a cross-examination. Yeah, you asked him. He can be re-examined. Yeah, well, all right, all right. Don't, don't. He, he, I asked him, you have told him that he should answer, and I will guide him to answer the question. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So the amount you borrowed was 800000 and the amount we paid towards that loan, the evidence before this commission of inquiry, is $40,000. Do you recall saying in your statement that you had six million dollars in savings? If I could recall in my, my statement, statement. Yes. I had, had six, six million dollars in savings? Yes. I can't recall. You can't recall. Would you deny it? No, I wouldn't. You wouldn't deny it? And I wouldn't accept it either. I have to see it to believe all right. it. That's all right. Um, did you recall a judgment Giving against you for three hundred thousand dollars in can't connection can't with recall. a property you lease, you can't recall. Oh yes, with that this court matter, yes, I can recall. Now I'm telling you, sir, I'm putting it into uh, it's, it's before you. It's from your statement that you did say you had six million dollars. Why weren't you paying these debts that you had outstanding, including the, the rental money? Have I ever owed you? No, you don't, you know, uh, uh, don't, don't answer the question the guy is asking. Don't, don't get argumentative. Or... 
That is uncalled for. This is content of information. And I will not tolerate it. My question to you, if you had the six million dollars, why were you unable to meet your obligations? Please specify what you're speaking about, sir. Well, the, the, the rental is amounted to three hundred thousand dollars, the unpaid balance on the loan. Sir, that is our suggestions by you, I deny. Where did you keep that money? That, where did you have that $6 million? Where did I have it? Yes, sir. I keep it on my person. You, so you had $6 million? I don't go to... I, I not, are you saying... No, no, I, just, mm -hmm. no, please. I'm making you work simple. I'm asking you straight questions. So you... You had six million dollars. That's what you state your statement said. As I said, I can't recall putting that into the statement. But you, but you said you you had that six million. I asked you where did you have the six million? Who you I told I had six million, sir. Sorry. I can't remember saying the six million or you keep lamenting on. All right. Um, you can't recall. Do you have that six million now? Come again. Do you have that six million now? Money spent. All the money has been spent. Money spent. Spends. Like you keep on using what you have. Mm -hmm. So you would bring back other one and you would.